Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Fanatic, and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today, I actually have an NU battle. This is like the first battle I've uploaded in a while, which has actually been a Smogan tier. So, um, basically, there's uh, Magmar and Hypno are returning from my PU usage sort of teams, and I have Jinx, Golurk, which is probably the MVP of the team. I love Golurk, goddamn. I got Weezing, and I got Float. So, looking at my opponent's team, he's kind of got. He's got a half trick room team, half non trick room team. You'll, you'll kind of see in a minute. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm battling Squid Prince today, so make sure you check out his Twitter and his YouTube channel. I'll leave them both in the description. Um, but he starts off with a Kingler. I'm guessing he'll probably want to try and knock off whatever item I have. Uh, I start off with Floatzel, and this probably isn't the best matchup for me. He can at least hit me with something, but I don't really have anything that I can touch Kingler with on my Floatzel, so I decide to swap into my Weezing. However, he must predict this and goes into Nose Pass, expecting to want to set up rocks. Uh, so I want to swap into my Golurk so I can set up my own rocks and I can also uh, tank any electric moves if he decides to go for one. And uh, he actually just straight up with draws Nose Pass. I don't really know what he was expecting, but he brings in his Ninaga Bean. I kept reading that in the wrong way during the battle. Um, so in this turn, I do set up my Stealth Rocks and. Uh, in comes Mishana, and he actually stays in. I go for the Stealth Rocks, expecting him to want to switch, because obviously, Golurk is a Ghost type. I can hit him with a Shadow Punch, Iron Fist. I am not No Guard. He doesn't know that uh, know that yet, um, but that does nothing with Reflect up. Without Reflect, that would have done so much damage. And um, as you find out, this thing is a Dual Screen Trick Room Baton Pass um, Mishana, so it can't actually touch me. So the good thing is, uh, if, if he's down to his last Pokemon on this, I can just Toxic it and kill it, or just, or even, even better, just kill it. And um, yeah, he doesn't have recovery either because it's the like clay. So I can I can take it down quite easily. So I'm not too bothered about it. I'm more worried about this goddamn Exploud, which is running around under a Trick Room with Choice Specs, Boom Burst, Scrappy. I can't even bring in my um, Golurk to be safe from the Boom Burst. So it really Really, I'm not looking forward to this situation. I had to quickly check whether uh, Protect would protect you from um, Boom Burst, because I know it breaks, uh, it goes through Substitute, because obviously you can still hear it. Um, but apparently Protect and Protect stop you from getting hit by the um, Boom Burst. So here he obviously, I don't know, expects me to want to go for Protect or something, so he swaps into Nose Pass. And uh, as I don't switch out here, he can see... There is a opportunity to stop his own Stealth Rocks, which is not good because I have got Magmar and Jinx, both my special attacking Pokemon, are weak to rocks. But the uh, Trick Room does wear out, which is good. I decide to stay in and Toxic this thing, thinking he'd be quite tough to take down and he'll be a Violite. But um, as you'll see later on, he's not too hard to actually take down. He gets his Stealth Rocks up, which is not the best situation for me, I'm afraid. Um, but I get some leftovers, and now I arrange where I can live another boom burst but I'm not sure where I can live another boom burst after coming in after rocks so uh, that's why I was quite annoyed at this point but I bring in Golurk expecting to want to go for an electric type move maybe a vault switch or something um, and he doesn't he just straight up, with, straight up withdraws obviously expecting me to do this and he brings in Mighty Anna predicting that so this guy has just got his prediction pants on left right and centre um, I obviously don't want to leave Golurk in because Golurk is a brilliant Pokemon I I don't actually think I've ever used it before, or sort of as much, well, not since the uh, last gen anyway, it's the first time I used it this gen. And um, in comes his, whatever it's called, I've forgotten what it's called, Mashana, that's the one. He obviously expected me to switch because I didn't want to stay in and take a crunch to the face, so I actually swap into my Weezing here, and uh, I don't really want to stay in, even though, well, I don't know at this point whether he has light screen or not, but um, I should have probably guessed by the fact that he doesn't have leftovers and he has baton pass, trick room and reflect. So I go into Hypno here because this is an opportunity to heal myself back up just so I can take on the um, Exploud if he wants to come back in. I can also protect and wear down a turn of trick room, reflect and light screen all at once. So uh, Hypno is kind of key, uh, key to help him take down this Mishana. I know though I can't toxic it because he'll have synchronized and I don't really fancy toxic toxicking my own Hypno. Um, and here he does go for the light screen, so now he has, I think it's reflect and light screen up. But I don't think he bothers setting up a trick room this time round, because he, he wants to swap into a faster Pokemon. I believe that's what he does. Anyway, 
He goes for the yeah, he goes for the baton pass. I don't I don't know why he just didn't actually no, he didn't switch because he wanted Mashana to take the hit. Okay, I get that now. I did wonder at the time why he didn't just straight up switch. Uh, in comes Kingler, and I don't want to say on Kingler. This thing's probably gonna go, go for a knockoff. And um yeah, Hypno doesn't like knockoffs, so I'm just gonna protect anyway to see what he does do. And I mean he goes for the knockoff and I protect myself, and now I want to get out of there. And I'm going to go into, I don't know what I'm going to actually go into. I'm going to go into my Weezing, that's the one, my physical wall. I don't really mind too much if he loses um, his Black Sludge. I haven't actually used Weezing that much at all. Probably should have treated it a bit better because he has this thing and Mighty Anna running around. But Mighty Anna and this thing didn't turn out to be too troublesome like I thought they might be. Um, anyway, he brings back in his uh, Mushana. And I go for the will o -Wisp. He was obviously predicting this because he can get the Synchronize off. Kind of hoping I'd miss, but I didn't, obviously. Um, I could have stayed in and just sludge bombed away this thing then because he can't touch me with any attacking moves so um, he does get those synchronize and Weezing's going to die pretty much at the end of this next turn but the burn does help me bring it down to a range where even with a uh, without special attack and investment with, with sludge bomb up no not sludge bomb up light screen up sludge bomb can kill it so not too bad Mashana's gone so no more screens all I have to do is sort of burn turns I think that's why I leave my I leave my Weezing in to die here, really. I didn't really fancy switching into Hypno, because uh, Toxic damage is going to help rack up on this X-Cloud, and it's going to also burn a turn of Reflect and Light Screen. Weezing goes down. I'm, I'm afraid that's that's not too bad, actually, I guess. But I don't like the way Weezing smoke appears in this game, which looks weird compared to all the 3D models. It's just like 2D pixelated smoke coming out. Anyway, in comes Golurk. This is where Golurk starts earning brownie points. Straight up for the earthquake, and I wasn't actually sure if this thing would take it out. I don't have any like I don't have leftovers of choice band or anything. It just stab earthquake takes out X Cloud. I know X Cloud gets a lot of HP. Um, obviously its defense is not the best though, so I'm really happy that did take it out. And uh, the light screen wears off too. Uh, it's a shame the reflect didn't. Uh, but in comes his Kingler, and I'm actually faster. I expect him to be choice scarfed. I don't actually know if I've seen him go for a move yet. Um, and, but then I realised he is life. No, I do know he's life orb. So Earthquake doesn't quite take it out. He does give the knockoff. He gets. Uh, he doesn't get the crit. Actually, I thought he got the critical hit. Never mind. Um, but life orb is gonna take him out, which is brilliant. So Gurluck effectively set up rocks and took out two Pokemon in this battle. So uh, yeah, Gurluck MVP of this battle, dude. Well done. Anyway, I'm gonna bring him Float Sword because I know he's got Typhlosion and I can hit my Tiena hard as well um, and Nose Pass actually. So. That, that was my thought process, but then I thought, wait, this thing probably carries Thunder Wave, and if not, I'll have Volt Switch, so I don't really want to take any of them, and I'm confident at Waterfall, Choice Band, probably want to take this thing out if it is, um, if I like, so I don't think it's Rock Ground, I think it's just pure Rock, so it's only two times a week compared to four times a week. Anyway, Nose Pass goes for the Volt Switch, and I go for the, uh, sorry, I bring in my Hypno, and I take that pretty well. In comes Dawoof. The Mighty Anna, and now I just kind of thought, well, poop, I'm in a really bad situation because I don't actually think I have any priority on my team now. I didn't put Aqua Jet on my Sneasel, not Sneasel, Floatzel, because it carries Waterfall, Ice Punch, and Brick Break. Um, here we go for the Protect, trying to find out whether he has the Crunch or the Sucker Punch. I'm hoping he is the Sucker Punch because that would be a lot easier to take down, but he does have the Crunch, and I got really scared at this point because I knew. These things get Moxie, and he just flat out takes me out. But it turns out he doesn't have Moxie on his, so a bit confused by that. Um, I'm pretty sure its other ability is Intimidate, which is good, but I didn't know it's Intimidate either, so I don't actually know what its other ability could be. Um, but anyway, I go for the Choice Scarf Focus Blast on my Magmar. He obviously wasn't, well, he might have been Scarf, just slower. Or I expect he was probably Banded, because. Um, Crunch did a lot. I didn't expect exactly expect Hypno to live, but um, I didn't see any life or recoil or anything like that. Anyway, in comes Nose Pass, and he dies to a Focus Blast too, so Magmar doing work, and it turns out my opponent only has his... What does he have left? He only has his Typhlosion left, while I have Magmar, Jinx, and Floatzel around, so unless this uh, Typhlosion can pull a trick out of its hat, I mean, it, it's not going to have much chance. I uh, guess the Focus Blast doesn't kill me. I go for my Focus Blast, and it hits, and it doesn't kill him. So we've hit, I've hit three Focus Blasts, he's hit one. So uh, this is the fifth Focus Blast which has hit this battle. Goddamn Focus Blast, you don't miss for anyone when I'm battling, I swear. I never see it miss. Only when it's important and I need to hit it, I miss. 
Anyway, in comes Jinx, and then uh, Stealth Rocks does its thing. My opponent goes Spooks Blast, and it misses. So I kind of talked that up. Um, I gave it a Psychic just to kill this thing off, and it's a very close 2-0. I mean, that was a really fun battle. I haven't battled NU on Wi-Fi yet uh, since X and Y's been out. And I look forward to having more. Hopefully you guys like this tier, and uh, look forward to more NU videos, because PU is now nothing. It's now known as BU, so there's going to be that in the future, I guess. Uh, other than that, hopefully you like this video. If you do, leave a like. Uh, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.